Hey Hylians, like 90% of the internet, I freaked out when I saw Zelda's new haircut within the trailer for Breath of the Wild's sequel, but along with that I was just super happy to see her within the trailer to start with. A lot of the time when we get a new Zelda game shown, we only get a little snippet of a trailer or a little bit of artwork, and it almost never shows Zelda herself. So seeing her along with Link going on this adventure got me really excited for this game, and got me excited for the possibility of Zelda perhaps being playable within the Breath of the Wild sequel. People have wanted the Princess of Hyrule to be playable in a mainline Zelda game for a very long time now. We have seen her playable in games like Hyrule Warriors and recently in Cadence of Hyrule, but it's not exactly the same as these are shorter spin-off games. Having Zelda playable within a mainline game would be a completely different experience to those games. The only time in a main series game where we have been able to play as Zelda was in The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. In Spirit Tracks at points within the game, Zelda in her spirit form would take control over phantoms. At these points in the game, you would play as both Link and Zelda using both characters' abilities to solve some really cool puzzles. And these little bits of gameplay just made a lot of us want to play as her more. The series is named after her, it makes sense that at some point we could get to play as her in a main game. So is there anything within the trailer that could point towards Zelda possibly being playable within this next game? Well, actually, there could be. Zelda's new haircut could be a hint towards her being playable. This may sound a little strange to say that a character's haircut being shorter is a point towards them being playable, but it would make sense as, like Link, Zelda would most likely have to fight and climb, so having her with shorter hair would make it much easier to animate her for these scenes. Along with this, I'm pretty sure that Nintendo will be bringing back the different outfits from the original game, and even more for this new one. If Zelda was playable, you would be able to put her in different outfits like you could with Link. Having her with shorter hair would help out with this, as you wouldn't need to change it so much with some of these different outfits. For example, having shorter hair would work much better with outfits with hoods and helmets, and it wouldn't clip through some of the costumes. And just a little thing about Zelda in the games, she's very headstrong, so I think that if she was going on an adventure with Link, she would cut it to make it more manageable. <laughs> To me, it also feels like the perfect time to bring Zelda in as a playable character within a mainline Zelda game. As I said before, it seems like Nintendo have wanted to do this for a while, but have left it for side games and spin-offs to see how people would react. With all the big changes they brought to the game in Breath of the Wild, I can see Nintendo wanting to bring even more things to shake up the formula within this next game, and what's more different than letting us play as someone other than Link in a mainline Zelda game. I feel that there are a lot of different ways that they can make Zelda work in this game and have it go well with the story. First off is just letting her be the same as Link. Have her do everything that he can. This would be the most easy way to do it, but I can see it being a little boring and non-interesting to have her simply feel like a costume swap for Link. One way I think would work as a good way to bring Zelda in is have us be able to swap back and forth between the two characters. Let us swap back and forth between both Link and Zelda at will, and have both of them be very similar, but each of them have their own ability that the other doesn't. For example, maybe Link could use an all new ability based around the magic we see in the trailer, and Zelda could use the Sheikah Slate with some all new abilities that she's added to it with the help of some of the Sheikah. Another thing is along the same lines, but instead of letting us swap at will, or within dungeons or set points in the game, we have to swap between Link and Zelda to do different tasks to help the other out. Imagine having both characters in different rooms, and you need to work together to do things within your area to help the other get out. A little like the part in Majora's Mask where you need to swap between Link and Cafe, mixed with swapping between Link and Zelda and Spirit Tracks. To make the gameplay more different between both Link and Zelda, I feel Link's gameplay could be more about fighting and using his weapons, and Zelda could be focused more on strategy and puzzle solving. Even though Zelda has the full Triforce within Breath of the Wild, she is still most recognised for holding the Triforce of Wisdom. Along with that, she's also seen in Breath of the Wild to be very interested in science and how the Guardians worked. She could use her knowledge on things like this to help solve puzzles and maybe even upgrade items. Another idea they could go with if they wanted Zelda to be more active in fighting is letting her fight in the way of the Sheikah. This would be a nod back to Ocarina Time where Zelda took the form of a Sheikah named Sheik, and it would make more sense with the story as Zelda is very close to a lot of the Sheikah people within this game, 
and may have learned a couple of ways of fighting from them after the events of Breath of the Wild, so she could defend herself a little more. There is also the fact that Zelda does have the full Triforce in Breath of the Wild, so maybe she could use magic which reflects each of the goddesses. I'd love to see Zelda using something like Din's fire, Ferrari's wind, and Nehru's love from Ocarina of Time. Now, moving away from her being playable, I want to give a couple ideas I had on how they can still make her join Link on his quest. If Zelda is not playable in the next game, I think one way they could bring it into the story more is have her still be with Link. In a way, have Zelda as the game's partner character. Even if partner characters are not every player's favourite thing, I have to admit that at times playing Breath of the Wild, it was a little lonely. It did fit the story and the feel of the world being alone, but it would have been nice to have someone along for the ride. I feel that having Zelda come along with Link would be really fun for the game. I've talked a little about this before, but I feel a lot of the game may take place under Hyrule. With this, Zelda could come along with Link not just to help him find what he's looking for, but maybe she could also upgrade items if you bring the right materials to her. When it comes to exploring Hyrule, or under Hyrule, or wherever this game takes place, I think she should be able to do exactly what Link can do. Simply AI controlled though. Let her climb and fight, or maybe even have her off to the side calling out when an enemy is open for an attack. Some of these ideas could still be used if you're able to swap between Link and Zelda in-game. So one last thing I want to talk about is multiplayer. It's something I've thought about as maybe seeing in this next game, and it's something I've seen a couple people bring up here and there. I feel multiplayer could be a lot of fun within this game. Having one person control Link and the other person control Zelda. Having both online and local multiplayer would work best I feel. If you had online multiplayer, it would be nice to let both people go off into the world without the other if they wanted to. Fighting and exploring together would have its benefits, but I'd like for example if you could have Link in Rito Village and Zelda down by the sea. Letting us explore with someone else would also go into what I said about it being nice to have someone to explore Hyrule with, to not make the adventure so lonely. Even with all that though, I'm not sure if we will see multiplayer within this game. It may be something Nintendo have thought about, and I do feel it could work well, but at the same time I feel Nintendo would much rather leave multiplayer for Zelda games like Four Swords and other spin-offs. With all that said, what do you think? Would you like to see Zelda playable in the next Zelda game? And what do you think about multiplayer in a game like this? Tell me your thoughts in the comments as I always love to read them. If you enjoyed this video, why not give it a like? They always help me out. And while you're at it, why not subscribe to be notified when I post more Zelda goodness. Thank you all again for watching and until the next video, bye!